Let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's going on? The, I pushed the start recording button about 10 seconds ago, and it just decided, it was like, let me know when you're ready, okay? Anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, man, here I'm going to finish up Season 2, Episode 10. I said, let me just finish up the season before I jump into the other reactions I have for today. Um, for all you guys, um, well, none of you guys here are waiting on that. Let's just be honest. But anyway, so let me not mention it at all. Anyways, for all the other shows that we're watching, that you watch on the channel, if you watch anything other than Spartacus, that is, um, I will resume them um today or tomorrow who knows depends on how today goes because i might have to leave the house to go do something with my sister again so we'll see so that's why i'm trying to get this out because we were on a roll with the spartacus stuff so let's just finish up the season with episode 10 and let's see where we end up i might not do spartacus again until probably the end of this week the reason why i'm doing that is because i usually take a break from the show um, it depends. It depends on when I'm going to start season, season three. Okay. So don't hate me for it. It depends. I might feel the urge to do it earlier than the end of the week. So don't worry about it. Okay. Depends on how things are going. I might get the jitters of missing Spartacus and just decide to start season three, but we'll see how things go. Anyways, we already know what's going on. If you have not, make sure you go back and check out the last reaction. If you want to get catch up with the Spartacus reactions, man, we are having so much fun over here. You guys are making it fun because you're leaving comments, you're leaving likes. You are making it fun for me because when I see the response, it makes me more want to do the reactions more than anything else. So I thank you guys for that off bat. Okay, so yeah, so... I don't know what's going to happen now. They've been pushed back into the mountains. Um, and it looks like Glaber is going to um, wait them out. Let them, you know, starve them out, basically. When they come down looking for food, he's going to take them out. That was an epic battle. You know, I would have thought that they would have saved that for episode 10. But I guess this is where Game of Thrones probably got their idea from of doing big action scenes and you know, um, these big set pieces, um, for the, the, um, the second to last episode of the season. So they can kind of wrap things up properly and give you good dialogue go for, um, to close out the season, to go into episode, to go into season three. So that is something that Game of Thrones did. Like they were doing 10 episodes per season. So for every episode nine, you know that there's going to be this big episode, this big, these big set pieces that happen or big, the biggest thing or the biggest surprises that are going to happen during the season are going to be in that episode nine, i.e. the death of Ned, i.e. Red Wedding, i.e. Blackwater Battle. You know what I'm saying? I could go on and on. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've watched, if you never watch Game of Thrones, uh, probably just spoil some stuff. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe you know. So we also got the the joining of the monster couple, Elithia and Glaber, back together over the death of Sepia. So um, this leaves Lucretia in a very tight spot. Um, because she can't get from under Asher's thumb because Asher is now requested that when this whole mess with Spartacus has been taken care of, then he gets the house. He gets the house of Batiatas become the house of Asher and he's going to um, ask for Lucretia to stay behind as his wife. So... Ah, uh, man, that's going to be something, eh? That's going to be something if it does happen. But anyways, man, we're going to jump into this episode. Let's go watch the finale of season two. And I will see you guys right back here for the review. Spartacus season two, episode 10, season finale. Oh my effing God. That was so brilliantly written. 
it's up there for season finales for me, man. It's up there. That's got to be, that's top five for me for season finales. And I've seen a lot of season finales. That's top five for season finales that I've seen so much stuff and nothing was out of place. A lot of things we see we saw took place. Um, Asher's death. Crixus versus... Not Crixus. Um, Asher's death. Would have never expected them to pit Navia against Asher. Right? That was brilliantly done. Ah, and the way how they did the scene too was absolutely brilliant because they let me lose hope for a second and everybody around lose hope. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man, and I thought, oh, here we go again. Asher's going to survive. You know what I'm saying? We saw Lucretia, how they, how they ended her whole thing in the series brilliantly done. Ah, oh, man. So much stuff. Spartacus versus Glabber. My God. So many payoffs. So many payoffs in one episode. It's absolutely unheard of to get this much payoffs in a season two of a show. Crazy, crazy stuff happening, man. Brilliantly done. Um... So I'm going to ask you guys, I need to go check, actually to check how many seasons are left. Is it two or is it just one? You know what I'm saying? Is there just four including the prequel or is there four excluding the, the prequel? I don't know, but I think, I think it's, you know, what I, you know, not the latter. Ah, uh, man, so much things to talk about. We finally, this was just carnage. It was just, it was just carnage and absolutely great storytelling. If I'm to wrap it up in a few words, it was carnage, leadership, oh man, uh, so many stuff. My head is all over the place right now to talk about this episode and this season. I also want to say this season of Spartacus is better than season one. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that Spartacus actor was replaced they didn't like this actor but i kind of he grew on me he grew on me and i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to say it the guy that did see the guy that did season one was brilliant but that was meant for him the role was meant for him but this dude took the role and made it his own and i know this is not a popular opinion it's not a popular opinion by any means but I think he took the role and made it his own. I think a lot of the speeches that he made, I don't know if the other actor, because he's not doing it, but I don't know if the other actor could have done the same speeches. I don't know. The delivery of the speeches was on point. I would have believed in him if I was in that group. I mean, he gets me pumped up every time he's, he gives one of these speeches. You know what I'm saying? He does it. He does a very good job, if not a great job with this role, man. He grew on me throughout the season. I'm not going to lie. He did grow on me throughout the season. The arc of Crixus, the arc of Navia, the arc of Lucretia, the arc of Philithia, the arc of Glaber, every single character that was featured in this season was brilliantly written, some unexpected, even Asher, Everybody was brilliantly written that was featured during this season of Spartacus, man. The OSTs are always on point. If you don't know what OST means, it means original soundtrack, okay? Absolutely brilliant, the score for, for, for this show. It never stopped. There were a couple of new ones for this season, you know, the 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 aesthetics never c ceases to amaze the aesthetics they got right except of stuff that i've criticized in the past where um you know what i'm saying you know the visual effects are too obvious sometimes it's too obvious green screen the special effects are sometimes very off 
but that is a question of budget you know so if i'm supposed to give it a rating i would drop the rating just a small point you know what i'm saying like a point five to give it a 9.5 for the season just based on that because i have to be a little bit critical about that because i think at the time when the show was being aired i think a lot of time it has to do with budget you get what i'm saying but it's season two so i can't give it a pass like i did in season one in season two where the popularity of the show was was absolutely growing because if it's not growing you're not going to make season two and a prequel for that matter you get what i'm saying after season one so the popularity of the show was to a point where they were making enough money to make sure the visual effects was on point you shouldn't have cheapened out on that i don't believe in cheapening out on special effects i.e i would use game of thrones as a very good example there's very few things that you can pick out as a visual mistake in Game of Thrones. You get what I'm saying? When it comes down to visual effects, they were on point from season one. You know what I'm saying? Especially when the dragons came on the scene. A lot of the stuff was, there was, not a lot. Some of the stuff was was, was obvious. Like when they, um, you know, a lot of the CG that happened because of, you know nudity and stuff like that a lot of the cg nudity was very obvious like when daenerys i think it was at the end of i don't remember what season when the, the um i think it was season two when she emerged from the fire was it not only i, I know in C, I, I think i don't remember what season it was okay i'm not trying to talk about game of thrones right now but you get the point i'm trying to make there were very few mistakes um between season one and season two with spartacus there was a lot there was a lot and it was very obvious in those fighting scenes and stuff like that which i think is not the biggest part of the show so because it's not the biggest part of the show you get what i'm saying it should be on point because it's not we don't get a, a ton of fighting scenes um during these episodes right we don't get a ton you know so you would think that when it does you should see some pretty um good special special effects right so as i said it's not to take away a lot from it because i'm still giving this season a 9.5 out of 10 easy easy you know amazing battle scenes for the entire season um you know the attack on the arena the arena falling ah oh, man that was glorious that was especially good you know enjoy that scene very well oh my god this was crazy this was crazy but they summed it all up the in, they, they summed up this season so well in episode 10 it's just absolutely so good and feels so good and heartwarming and feels so good in my soul goosebumps you know what i'm saying to know that this craft of you know movies tv shows anime whatever it is this craft that it can be so good it's just so amazing to be able to live in a time where we're experiencing this level of story writing still. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's very far and few in between. Because trust me, the stuff that is coming out these days, I mean, as new is very few of them. One or two, if you will, that you will find with very good writing. Because a lot of this stuff... They ain't lasting more than two seasons anymore. Let's just be honest with it, man. The stuff that they're creating today is trash. The writing is trash. You watch it for one or two seasons and you're like, what is this? What is this? The writing is trash. They don't know where they're going. They don't know how to build a storyline. They don't know about character development. They're just like, oh, let's throw a bunch of shit together and see if people like it. And then we'll make a quick buck and move on. 
is what it is today. Cookie cut everything. And then, and, and other than that, they throw a bunch of agendas in there. Forced on you. So, when I watch a show like Spartacus, man, I really do have to appreciate it for what it is. Because this is supposed to be a textbook in film school. It should be. Yes, they are, yes, it has flaws. Nothing is flawless. Right? It has flaws, but I think a lot of people could think, could take, <laughs> could take a lot of lessons from our story is written, man. And to have a continuous baseline for how you base things off of. Go back and look at the character you were writing in season one and don't stray from that too much. Because if you stray from that too much, you're going to lose fans you're gonna lose the people who are viewing your show and making it popular oh man but i do have to talk about episode 10 now been talking for 11 minutes so let's talk about episode 10 season finale one of the best i've ever seen definitely top five for me i'm not even hesitating on that it might be number five but it's still in my top five um one day i might give you guys my top five of season finales not series finales season finales that i've seen in my lifetime that has left me like yo i have to see the next season um right so things that happen man them deciding to vine down the mountain and take initiative and catch them off guard was brilliant right took out ha half of their forces with the um the fire um, the fire catapult, right? The fire catapult thingy, shooting the fireballs over there, landing on the camp, took out a lot of their forces. That's what gave them the advantage. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to say it. I don't think Ilithia is dead. I don't think Ilithia is dead. So I'm going to hold on to that until I, until next season. Of course, I don't think Ilithia is dead. The way how they did Lucretia, though, man. Unexpected, but it's so her. You get what I'm saying? Like, it didn't disappoint me the way how she went out. It did not disappoint me at all. It did not disappoint me at all. It was brilliant how they did it, man. Brilliant how they did it. Um, Lucretia was one of my favorite characters in the show. Bad or good, she was still one of my favorite characters in the show. Because the stuff that she did that was bad, you know what I'm saying? She was doing stuff within her power. I didn't like the fact that she killed Titus in the prequel, though. That I didn't not I didn't like. Titus didn't deserve that. Um But yeah, Lucretia is a very was a very good soul. So, R.I.P. to Lucretia, man. She was great when she was on the show. Two, three great seasons. In, that's including the prequel of acting, man. Really enjoy her acting. Um, I never watched Xena the Warrior Princess. I've never watched it. Um. I don't know if I watch it. I don't know if it was storyline based. I know it was a TV show back in the day, but I never watched it. You know what I'm saying? I've heard, I did hear of it because it was a very popular show at the time. Um, I know she played Xena. Um, you guys have given me a lot of facts about her too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, me talking about her beauty. Her beauty will definitely be missed on the show. She's a beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. Um, so... I don't think Elithia is dead. Her arc was brilliant this season too. Very good. And I don't think she's dead. Um, Asher. Brilliant actor. Did his job. Made me hate him. And he continued to do so. Up until his demise. And they even. He deserved the humiliation. That he got. He deserved it. He deserved it 100% to get killed by somebody like Navia. Navia ain't the strongest fighter, 
You know what I'm saying? It was obvious she didn't really have that great of a skill. She was being overpowered, but he let his guard down. He let his guard down, and he paid for it dearly. And I was pumped to see that because I, I'm not one to usually celebrate death. In Well, in real life, I don't. <laughs> in real life, I don't, but in TV shows, in TV shows, bruh. When you're a hated character, we are going to celebrate your death, okay? Yes. <laughs> right? You should die. You deserve to die. But anyways, Asher is dead, and I'm a happy man. Brilliant, brilliant character development for Asher. Loved it. They never strayed from who he was or who he was going to be. Great character development for him. R.I.P. Animaeus. Um, he went out the way I wanted to see him go out. You get what I'm saying? Um, in battle, in battle, that was great that they gave him that much. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to see him like just die of some disease or something. It was great that he died doing what he loved, what he found purpose in, which is fighting. That was pretty cool. And Gannicus, he finally forgiven Gannicus. You know, calling him brother once again. So, yeah, man. Spartacus versus Glaber. Definitely, definitely was a great, great fight. Glaber was holding his own, but he was no match for Spartacus. We all know this, right? Um, it was satisfying. It was satisfying, you know? It, w it was very satisfying, no doubt about it to see him go. Um, so basically, this is crazy. Because now who's going to be the next, who's going to be the guy that's going to lead the charge against Spartacus and his men now? Who's going to be the next guy? Of course, they're going to introduce somebody new. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm wondering if he's going to be even more deadly, even more, you know, used um even more thuggish as you say um because can't imagine man these guys are not even it's not even a lot of them i want to say it's probably i don't even think it's like 30 of them um for spartacus i would say probably around 30 of them right so now what are they gonna do i guess they're gonna take up the garrison Maybe they'll go back to the house of Batiatas. Who knows what they're planning to do now. But we'll see in season 3. Well that is my. What I have to say about this season guys. And also for, for the season finale. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did man. One of the best. Season finales ever. Spartacus season 2 episode 10 man. It was awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And also subscribe if you're new, man. More Spartacus to come. We're going to jump into um, Season 3 as soon as possible. But probably not before the end of this week. But I'm going to try to... Uh, if I get the time, um, which I do have a lot of time on my hands. But I'm going to kind of focus a little bit more on something else now. Now that Spart this season is over. I'm going to probably try to focus on The Walking Dead and Vikings to try to get those up to doing some double some double uploads. So now we can take a little break from Spartacus until the weekend. But I might just put out Season 3 Episode 1 still earlier before the weekend. Okay, so thank you guys so much as always. Subscribe if you're new. Your boy's out here working for y'all, man, because I'm home. You know what I'm saying? And I know you guys are appreciating it. So don't forget to leave a like. And I will catch you guys later, man. Peace. Shit was lit. <laughs>